up guys welcome to top form for you in today's video i've got with me the huawei MatePad 10.4 and I'm just going to go quickly through some uh, alternative uh, app uh, to use uh, instead of the Google Play Store. Since um, this uh, device it does not support a uh, Play Store at all, the closest you can use a Play Store on this device is by using a G Space, Geospace, or Vmos. Uh, feel free to uh, check my other video how to install those uh, app if uh, that's something you're interested in. But uh, on this video, I'm just going to show you the best alternative. Uh, you can access uh, apps like uh, uh, Google Meet and uh, Google Classroom, Google Photos and uh, other apps. So uh, the the best alternative uh, you have is you can use a better search is uh, quite good is the best one because uh, once uh, you open it up and then you search for the app, let's say search eBay. Even UK. So if uh, the app is not supported, you just go into the app section. Uh, you'll have uh, the. It will give you the options to uh, by using the web browser. And if the app uh, is uh, available for you to use, it just uh, it will give you a link where you can uh, go and install it. So uh, this is. Uh, I will highly recommend using this because you get most app installed by just using Petal Search. This is Facebook. If you go onto Facebook, it says there you can uh, install it from the official site and then you just tap on install and then it will direct. It takes you straight to the uh, face, uh, Facebook website and then you just uh, tap on download and then it will download it uh, straight away. So uh, I find this uh, function very useful because it gives you uh, alternative if it doesn't find the app or how you can get access to the app uh, on uh, another and uh, that's uh, once that's done, you can just uh, go back on the main screen and then you'll have for, uh, Facebook, the app there. You just open it and log in as normal. No uh, Google uh, services is required to use Facebook. You can do the same for Facebook uh, Messenger. You just uh, tap on that and then search for Facebook Messenger. And then you need to go to the app section. And then as you can see there, you can get Facebook Messenger from the uh, APK Pure. So you just uh, tap on install and then it will take you straight there. All you need to do is just download. And that will download it and uh, install it very easy and straightforward. So I have uh, another um, app I'm just going to show you in a minute. So uh, that's installed. Again, if you go back on the main screen, you see there Facebook Messenger, you can just log in no problem so if you open the app gallery and uh, just search for this quick app center quick app center if uh, i've already have it installed if you don't have it installed it will be there you just need to tap on install as you can see it's got over six million download um, and it's quite useful so what this app does, in the like of uh, Google uh, Meet, uh, which it doesn't work uh, on the app, you can't install the app because it requires Google services, just open Quick App Center and then search there for Google Meeting. As you can see, it just open it uh, straight away. So uh, once it's opened, all you need to do, just tap on the three dots on the top right and then add to desktop and then add the Google Meet uh, to uh, the home screen. You just do add and then all these doors, it will add here. As you can see there, it will create an icon and anytime you want to just tap on that. You could do that using the browser, but I'll show you what happened when you use the browser. So um, on the browser, you have to make sure you enable desktop site first. Otherwise it won't work. So you just enable desktop site and then search for Google. And then tap on the, the square and then open meet. So this is what happened. If you 
go on to that and then add to home screen then add add this will create the shortcut close this but it won't let you run it because it will try to open it using the browser but uh, because the browser as default is on the uh, mobile version it won't work so i'm just gonna clear all these and Okay, now you see that one is the one I created from Chrome and this one is the one that I created from... Uh, let me cl close everything in the background. I'll show you what happened when you open it. So when you want to open this one from Chrome, you open it and then you get a blank page because uh, it's trying to open it using the mobile version of the browser to get a way around it. So uh, there is a way around it, you just have to go back to home and then enable desktop sites and then go to Google and then go that way and then access Google meeting and then it will work. But if uh, you use uh, that uh, quick app center to put a shortcut like this one, so you just tap on it, no matter how many times it will straight open, you won't have to enable this website. This uh, create a version of uh, the app uh, by using a browser, but it keeps the mobile app as it should. The only thing you cannot do on this, uh, you'll be able to initiate a meeting, join a meeting, but you won't be able to uh, share your screen for other people to see. You can do the same uh, for Google Classroom. So anything you cannot get the app installed, it's uh, if you require Google uh, services, you just do the same. You just use that quick app center it's uh, very useful and then you just do add to desktop then add and then that's it so i'm just gonna remove this and then when you look you could you see you got the google classroom there uh, installed so you can do for uh, any app which require google services it's better to use this uh, quick app center because you just uh, keep a version of the app for using the browser so you don't have to worry about enabling desktop site or and switch it off you can do the same for google drive everything just uh, add it to home screen add and then that's it please uh, note that these uh, apps uh, they're not um, gonna sync your device automatically everything you're gonna do you'll have to do if you want to upload your photo you're just gonna have to do it manually nothing will sync up because it, it, they're using the browser so um, let's say you have uh, something you want to add to your google drive all you need to do just uh, tap on the three line on the corner and then uh, desktop version you just tap on the desktop version and then that will give you full function there you could just upload and download uh, app uh, uh, stuff from there uh, but it won't sync your device because it's not the app installed it's just running on the browser so if you open uh, petal search and then search for uh, excel then go to the app and then you can just uh, tap on install from apk pure then download that will download uh, excel uh, that doesn't require any um, google services to run you can do the same for uh, Microsoft Word once that's finished installed. Okay, that's done. So you just uh, close that and then now just uh, search for Word again for Word documents. Then install then that would uh, download uh, and install and then done so uh, if you want uh, one drive you just search on there for one drive and then I've already have it installed, you just uh, 
you tap it, it will show there as installed and then you just tap on it and then that will install it as well but because I've already got it installed that's why it came up uh, update and these uh, apps uh, doesn't require a, a GMS to run it they will work fine no problem So if you go now to your home screen, you'll have uh, all those uh, apps I just uh, installed. You just need to uh, open them. And uh, there you go. You have, uh, you can sign into your, if you have a, uh, if you have a, uh, uh, office uh, license or office 365 you can just tap sign in and then it will allow you to sign into your account to activate it but at the moment it just give you a view only a option you can have uh, instagram uh, installed uh, from petal search no it doesn't require google services to run so you just search for instagram as you can see it's there, you can install it from APK Pure, which is the source for the app installer. That's done. So now if you, have, you look on your screen, you've got Instagram in there. You do the same for TikTok. So you can just uh, install TikTok from the app gallery. As you can see, it's installing at the bottom there. So that uh, has uh, finished installing. So there you go. I have uh, most app uh, installed, no problem. So just say uh, Snapchat, uh, Instagram. Here we have uh, Netflix. It just installed it using the same. Um, uh, by searching on uh, on petal by using the petal search you can install the nearly most app another thing you cannot do um, you cannot restore any purchase app you bought from uh, Google Play Store you, at the moment there is no way you can restore them on this device one last app I'm gonna show you which is a, a good alternative to YouTube is by using uh, just open uh, petal search and then search for advanced YouTube YouTube advanced there you go so uh, as you can see there it will give you the option to go to the official site and download it just tap on it and then uh, the latest one is version 251 you just tap on download and that's uh, that will download it for you and then install done and now when you go back to the main screen and then here it is just run it let's go search none roots at the bottom then uh, closed all you need to do just uh, install the advanced to micro g this allow you to log into your to your account on youtube to your youtube account then just to install now if you install the youtube and then you install it um, and then for some reason they will ask you once you install the first version you need to log in and then come back uh, to this screen and then update youtube advanced so just uh, that's just to tell you that you have to install version 15 first and then log in first because there is a bug on version 16 which won't let you log in once you update so I'm just going to do install. And just do install.
then now as you can see that there is an update but before you update you just uh, run YouTube and just to dismiss and then as you can see that it's uh, running but it's not logged in so uh, now you just run the micro G setting and then I just tap on add account and then uh, sign in just to sign in And then from here enter enter your gmail account and password if you click on sign in and then it comes with an error just tap on the huawei one you just tap on the huawei sign in and then try again and then that will log you fine to check uh, to double check to make sure you are logged in just open your settings and then go on to uh, accounts and then you'll see the micro g app then there you will see your your email you just signed in and you can add more than one account if you want to so well now you signed into uh, the app you just close uh, the youtube vans and then now if you open that and then it will send you in this straight away as you can see you can just tap on there and then your account will show there if you go on to back onto the advanced manager and then now just update and then install and then that will install the version 16 and keep your account still logged in and then install and that's it so you just uh, go back and then now if you open uh, youtube advanced it has been updated close and there you go see everything is uh, working as it should you, uh, yeah the best uh, app uh, to access your gmail and sync your contact is by using outlook i've already done a video how you can do that just uh, check my other video and then i will take you through the step you can log in and sync all your contacts to this uh, tablet okay that's it from me if uh, you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and enable notification for my latest video Thank you for watching, stay safe and I'll see you on the next one.